heating, air, and solar. There needs to be more than one day for mothers, though. Yeah. I mean, what they go through, what they do, there should be like a year dedicated to moms. So true. You know? We all love our moms. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all, to, all the wonderful moms out there. That Hope was they're really having a great sweet. day yeah. today. Happy yeah. Mother's Day. Yeah. Congratulations to all the new moms. Yeah. yeah too, especially. Yeah. So nice. We actually have some heat to talk about. It's another heat wave that we're going through, and those winds are going to be a concern for us as we move forward. Just take a look at them blowing right now. This is from our downtown sky cam uh, looking off to the bay, and you can see just how fast those winds are going. We've had some good gusts coming through. want to show you an, a very interesting time lapse from Borrego Springs. This, notice the center of your screen, dust storms that kept coming through with some of those windy gusts that have been coming through. So we'll see some of these dust storms coming through right about there. You can see that come through. Uh, within the past several minutes, they've had a 29 mile per hour gust at Borrego Springs, 16 at Julian and 21 at Mountain Laguna. Live over Poway, plenty of clear conditions. We will see nothing but sunshine for several days to come. The fog is not going to make a comeback for several days. Right now, lots of 70s on the map. Still very pleasant. Julian 64, 59 uh, up into the higher elevations. Some 70s west of the mountains though you go down in elevation boy those temperatures have really come up look at the winds out of the northwest we talked about this yesterday that northwest wind for most locations except the higher elevations 16 at Ramona 12 Oceanside 20 San Diego and 12 at Chula Vista so yes once again will this illustrate red flag warning through 8 p.m. on Tuesday for the mountains and deserts because of the dry gusty winds that are coming through the area. Here's the whole reason. We've got an area of high pressure just to our north. As we go through the coming days, that will reposition and move over just to our east. Those dry offshore Santa Ana winds will be with us at times. It's 15 to 25 degrees above normal. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I think those are the days we could see some records falling around here. The highs across the coast will be in the 90s. Inland will be closer to 100 degrees. Wind future cast 250 tomorrow afternoon. Still a good solid onshore wind west of the mountains at anywhere from 10 to 15 miles per hour. But the offshore winds are starting to pick up for the mountains and the deserts at about 15 to 25. As we go into Tuesday, most of the county experienced the offshore winds all the way to the coast, and that's Tuesday at 11 in the morning. That's when we start to really peak with the heat. So your overnight lows dropping down into the 50s. Now take a look at your highs. 40s for the overnight uh, elevation or the uh, higher elevations tonight. 90, El Cajon, 89 in Poway, Valley Spring or Valley uh, Spring Valley rate 87, 83 in Chula Vista. You've got 81 in Coronado, San Diego tomorrow at 85. Remember this time of year, we're typically about 68, 69. Santee closer to 90 tomorrow, Ramona at 84, Alpine 86, Del Mar into the upper 70s, near 80s for La Jolla as well, up into the north end of the county. Notice lots of upper 80s to near 90 for Escondido, Valley Center, Fallbrook at 90 as well. If you're going to Temecula at 91, 77 for Carlsbad, and up into the uh, higher elevations, you know, love going to get some apple pie, Julian, 73 there, nice and pleasant there, 67 in Mount Laguna. Borrego Springs, though, back into the 90s. But look, consider Borrego Springs only three degrees warmer than a place like El Cajon. Our deserts and our valleys are going to be very similar for the next several days. Along the coast, seven day forecast, 89. This is the coast on Tuesday, 90 on Wednesday, 89 on Thursday. Friday, we start to see the sea breeze pick up. It'll be pretty heavy or strong rather. And then the fog comes back on Saturday into Sunday. Your inland forecast will continue to get closer to 100 degrees by the time we get into Wednesday. So 90, about 90 tomorrow, mid 90s on Tuesday. We add a few more degrees on Wednesday. We'll stay there on Thursday, not till Saturday and Sunday. We do we start to cool back down. It is going to be a hot, dry week ahead, and we mm. watch that carefully, especially with the red flag warning in place right, right. because of the dry conditions. This is our third year in a drought, and you think we should have had a close to 10 inches of rain right now. We've only had about five. Yeah, it's nothing. So, yeah. Thanks, Greg. You got it.